Hey there, my name is Chris Winter and welcome to my fast Shopify dropshipping tutorial for this year. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a brand new Shopify website with no credit card to get started. I'm gonna show you how to make that website look great, super clean and super fast. And I'm also gonna show you how to import products from AliExpress using an app called Oberlo. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because there are so many Shopify dropshipping tutorials on YouTube, but they're all an hour, two hours, or even three hours long, which is a really long time to sit down just to get your website up and running. And guys, I also got a gift for you for watching this tutorial. In the description box below, right under this video, I'm gonna put a list of the best products to drop ship this year. Now these products are going to be a hit for this year coming up. So if you're just starting out with drop shipping, this is probably what you want to look at because of the profit margins and because of their popularity. So if you want to check out that list, it'll be in the description box below right under this video. But anyway, there's no time to lose. Let's get started with your very first drop shipping store. Now, before we jump into this video, guys, what I would highly recommend is that you work on your own Shopify drop shipping website at the same time as watching this video. The reason for this is that it makes it so much easier to know where all of the different buttons are, how to change things on your websites. And by the end of this video, which will be roughly around about 15 minutes, you'll have your own Shopify dropshipping website up and running with your own products, your own images and looking great. And one of the great things about Shopify is that they've got a full on free trial, which you can use without any credit card details needed. So all you need to do is put in your email address and you can pretty much start editing your website, adding images, adding products from AliExpress and a Burlo. It's a fully featured full free trial. Now, if you do want to get that free trial and follow along with me, I'll put a link in the description box below right under this video and you can get that free trial with no credit card needed and you'll be able to get your website up and running in no time. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go underneath this video and you can click on this link right here. This is going to give you a full free trial without a credit card. So you don't need to use a credit card, which is great. And all you need to do now is put in your email address and then click start free trial. From here, we're going to put in a password and then a store name. So there's mine, camera gadgets online, and then we're gonna click create your store. Next up, they're gonna ask you a few questions. You really don't even need to answer these, you click skip. And then they're gonna ask you for your address so you can get paid. Once you're done with that, you can click enter your store. So this is your dashboard here on Shopify, and this is essentially the brains or the back end of your website. As you can see, you can have a look at your orders, you can see all the products that you've got, the different customers who've purchased from you, your analytics, which are your stats, marketing, which is your ads and promotions, discounts and discount codes that you can have, apps, which we're gonna look at soon, and then your sales channel, which is your online store. And if you click on this little plus button, you can also add other different sales channels, but we're just gonna be using the online store first. So the first thing we're gonna do though is go to apps, and then we're gonna click on this app here called Oberlo. If it's not here, you can always click up here in the visit Shopify app store to find it, but it is right here. So we can click on Oberlo, and this is gonna be the app that allows us to do drop shipping through places like AliExpress. To add it, all you need to do is go to add app and it's great because it does have a free plan available. We're just gonna scroll down now and click install app. Fantastic, a Burlo is now installed. So this is the dashboard for a Burlo, which we'll take a look at in a second. But what we're gonna do first is jump back to our admin and we're gonna be start designing our website and getting it looking great. So what we need to do first is go to sales channels and then click on online store. Then we're gonna to go to themes. Now, as you can see, the store is currently password protected, which is actually good because it, we don't have any uh, data or information on there at the moment, so that's fine. But once we're ready, we'll be able to disable this password. What we're gonna do is change our theme. So you can go to free themes and then click explore free themes. As you can see, there are a number of different themes which are essentially templates and they change the way that your website's gonna look. I think for this one here, we're gonna use the Brooklyn theme. So we can click on here. And there are two different options. There's playful and classic, but I think today we're gonna to use the classic theme. To add this, you click add to theme library. Then from here, we're gonna click actions, publish, and then publish again. So as you can see, Brooklyn is now our theme. And if we wanna customize our website, how it looks, we click customize. So here is what your website looks like. And this is the Brooklyn theme. As you can see, it's got a nice big hero banner up here. And we've got different sections which we can add and change like a collection list, which is your categories. You can have a featured collection. You can have a subscribe to our newsletter. And these are all controlled over here. So for example, if we wanna get rid of this collection list, we can click remove section. If we want to move this newsletter to the top, all we need to do is drag it here and we can now have it at the top right underneath our hero banner. I think what we're gonna do is get rid of this section as well. And we're gonna start with something basic like this. So as you can see, this 
dropshipping store is going to be called Camera Gadgets Online. And the reason for this is because I like camera gadgets. In fact, I have another channel which is called Chris Winter Photography. I talk all about cameras and things like this. So what I want to do is sell some camera gadgets for people to buy. So I think what we want to do is first add an image up here so the website looks legitimate when photographers come to this website. So what I would recommend is going to a website called unsplash.com and this is where you can get some really, really high quality uh, stock photos for totally free. So what we can do is type in photographer. So we've got a number of different photos that we could use for this uh, main hero image. I think the one that I like is going to be this one here. So we can click on this, make it a little bit larger and then click download free. So here's the image. And what I can do now is go to slideshow and we're going to click on this first slide, click select image and upload it. And there we go. We have a really nice background image that's perfect for this store. We can click select. And then what we can do is also change this title text and this subtext. To do this, we just go to heading and then the subheading. Awesome. We can also have a button if we want. And then we could link it to a page, but I'll just put it to a hash link right, right now. And as you can see, it's now looking fantastic. Now we can have a different slide if we want, but for this short tutorial, we'll just remove this one. So as you can see, we now have this awesome hero image. We can actually also change this up here, which is a top bar. To do this, we'd go to header and then down to the text. So let's say free shipping uh, all week. We could even change the color. How about we change it to a nice tealy color. There we go. It's looking good. Now, if you ever want to see what your website looks like on mobile, all you need to do is click up the top here and you can see how it's going to look as a responsive website. If you ever want to see what it looks like full page, you can click here and you can see that the logo is looking good. We have our nice hero image. We have our menu here. We've got that top bar at the top here and it's looking great. Now, if you ever want to save your website, all you need to do is click save. Now, if you have your own logo, which you would like to have, all you need to do to change it is go to header and then you can upload your logo. But I think this one looks pretty good. And for this short tutorial, this will work great. So one of the great things about Shopify is that you can add different sections. So like I said before, this is a section here and this is a section. And if we wanted to add another one, all you'd need to do is click add section. And then for example, we could add an image with text. So we'd click on this and then click add. And we could add a bit of information about our website perhaps. And then also you could add some text here. And then we can go back to Unsplash and find a good photo that we could use as well. Again, we can just grab this one here. If you want to have this image on the right, you could choose it to the right alignment. So what we'll do now is click save. And then we'll jump back to the Shopify dashboard, which you do by clicking up here on the left. So one of the most important parts of having a dropshipping website is making everyone who comes to your website feel nice and secure. So I always like to have an about us page uh, and maybe some other information as well. So if you want to create a page in Shopify, all you do is go to the sales channels, then click pages, and then you can click add a page. So this is going to be our about us page. We can type about us and then you can add some information about your website. So it might be, uh, you know, why you were founded, the reasons why you like to sell your products. It's a really good idea to make a good effort here. Uh, so people, when they come to your website, can really feel that this is going to be a secure website and that you actually know what you're doing. We'll just add some dummy text right here though, because it is a fast tutorial. Once you're done, you can click save at the top right here. And then we can view our page here by going to view it on your online store. There's our about us page. It's also a good idea to create a shipping page. So to do this, we would click create another page and we've got a shipping information page. And again, here you can add your shipping times, uh, where you ship to and maybe your prices as well. And then possibly again, you can also create another page, which I really like, which is your return policy. Again, these are things that people look for when they go to a website to make sure that you're going to be completely legitimate. Now what we're going to do is edit this menu at the top here. 
To do this, all we need to do is go back to sales channels and then click on navigation. So this menu at the top is your main navigation, main menu right here. So you can click on main menu. And we've currently got home and catalog. What we can do to add a page is go to add menu item. And then we're gonna search for pages. There's our about us and then click add. If we wanna add our shipping information, we can add that as well. And then if you wanna drag them around, you simply drag them like this. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Then once you're done, you can click save. So let's see how it looks now. So we've got our home, our about us, our shipping information and our catalog. Obviously you can choose what you want here. You might want to have your shipping information in the footer menu down here, but it's totally up to you. So let's now go to a Burlo. And to do this, we're going to go to apps on the left. Then we're gonna click on Oberlo. So like I said, this is gonna be a short tutorial which will get you up and running with a basic product through AliExpress and Oberlo. But if you'd like me to do a full on tutorial, uh, which will easily get you up and running with a full shop, talking about taxes and shipping and all of that, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and I'll definitely take a look. But the first thing that we're gonna do is go to AliExpress.com. Now, if you don't know what AliExpress is, it's essentially where all of the Chinese, uh, you know, factories and manufacturers go and they list all of their products. So you can get them really at a good price and then you can on sell them at a more expensive price, which they will end up drop shipping and sending it off for you. So like I said before, we're gonna be uh, selling products for photographers. So you wanna look for different products that they would like to buy. So for example, one of the things that I wanna sell is a camera bag. So you can search at the top and you can see all of the different products that they're selling. So a few things that you wanna look at when you're on AliExpress for dropshipping is that you wanna make sure that you have a four stars and up checked. So you can click right here. This will make sure that they're a reputable company. Then you can also click on sort by orders because you wanna make sure that there are a lot of people actually buying this on AliExpress. So it's gonna be a good product. So the product that I'm going to first choose is going to be this one here. It's a camera backpack. As you can see, it's got nice product photos, which is good. Uh, it's a good price. It's got a lot of good reviews and over 2000 orders. The great thing also is that it's got lots of different colors. So nice variants for people to buy. And what we're going to do is copy this link. So I'm going to press command C. Then we're going to go back to a Burlo. So the first thing that we're going to do is click search products. And then we're gonna import product by URL. This is just a little bit quicker than searching through a Burlo. So with that link that we have, we can click Command V and we're gonna import it. Once that's done, you can see that we now have one product here on our import list. There it is. And we have all of this different information that we can change. So the first thing that we wanna do is change this title because it's terrible. Uh, it's just a fully keyword stuff title. So let's change it to Pro camera, backpack, and then we can add it to our home page. And then if you want, you can add different tags. So for example, we could add a backpack tag, a bag tag, and a photography gear, gear tag. This will just help people find it in your store. Then we can change the description. Now it does currently come with this description, but I always like to add a bit of an extra description. Of course you can add a much better description, but I always do recommend adding a proper description rather than just this information because no one really cares about this. They're gonna be much more uh, into the actual description that you write. So the variants here are the different variants that you wanna sell. So as you can see, these have all been imported through AliExpress. And the variants are essentially different colors and different products. So this one here also has a tripod with it, but I don't actually want to sell these. So if you don't want to have a product, you can just uncheck them. So I'm just going to be selling the backpack. And as you can see, we have an orange, green, purple, and red. So next up, we can change the prices. So I live in Sweden, so I've got Swedish Krona here, but it'll probably be in dollars or whatever your currency is. So this is the current price. And what we wanna do is change it to the price that we wanna sell it for. So let's change all of these prices by clicking change all prices and then click set new value. 
So let's sell these for 200. Click apply and you can see that they're all changed now. Then you've got a compare at price, which is essentially a price uh, that the original bag would be valued at. But of course we're gonna be selling it on sale. So let's change this to 300. So they're on sale for hundred crowns off. So it's really as simple as that. Next up, we're gonna have a look at the images. Again, these have really good images. You can select the ones that you wanna have and you wanna keep. Of course, I wanna get rid of these ones because I don't wanna be selling it with the tripod. And that looks pretty good. And then once you're happy with the images, the product, the description, the variants, all you need to do is click import to store. Once it's been imported, we can now edit the product on Shopify. So we're back at the Shopify dashboard and you can see that we've already got all of this information that's been imported all through AliExpress, super easy with the Burlo. We've got these images. If you wanna change the main product image, all you need to do is drag it here and then that's gonna be changed. We've got our tags here. We've got the description if you wanna add any more. And if you wanna see what this looks like, all you need to do is click view at the top here. So here you go, we've already got our first product up and running in no time. You can see we've got our nice new name here, Pro Camera Backpack. We can even click here and change the images and it knows to change the images. This is one of the great things about Oberlo and it's so easy to do. Here's our description. If we wanted to add this to the cart, anyone could do this and click add to cart. If they wanted to add a green one, they could add that to the cart as well. really is super easy. What I want to do now is jump back to the dashboard and we're going to add one of these products to the homepage. So we're going to go back to sales channels and online store. Then we're going to go back to customize and let's now add that product to our homepage. So we're going to click add section. Then we're going to add a featured product. So let's click select product. And there it is, there's our Pro Camera Backpack. Click Select again. You can have a few of these details if you want. I don't wanna have the sharing buttons on. Then go back, click Save. And let's now take a look at what our website looks like. So in this short tutorial, we were able to get a website up and running with that free trial with no credit card. If you do wanna check it out, the link will be in the description box below. We've got this great hero image here, which we got from unsplash.com. We've got a newsletter, another section right here, and we're even able to have our first drop shipping item up and running. So we've got this pro camera backpack with uh, different variants, different colors, which people can add to their cart already. Of course, this is a very basic tutorial. If you do want me to do a full on tutorial, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video uh, and I'll definitely get to it. I'll make sure that I'll go over different things like shipping, taxes, how to get paid through Shopify. But I, in this video, I really just wanted to get you guys up and running rather than having to sit through a two hour tutorial to get your website running. This is why uh, I like making these short tutorials for you guys. Like I said before, if you do want to get started with Shopify, I'll put a link in the description box below to that 14 day free trial where you don't have to have a credit card, which is absolutely awesome. You can click on that link, get started and have your dropshipping website up and running and making you money in no time. So there you go guys, that was a short tutorial on how to get started with Shopify dropshipping. And like I said before, if you do wanna get started, I will put a link in the description box below to that free trial where you can get started without a credit card and creating your own store. If you did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you do subscribe because I'll be making a lot of dropshipping content over here. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Good luck with your dropshipping and I'll see you next time. Bye.